welcome to Mr. Thompson's math tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at probability from Venn diagrams. So here's a Venn diagram right here. Uh, and what we're going to be doing is we're looking, we're going to look at how you deal with probability based on this whole thing here. Okay, so here we go. Let's start by doing this. Uh, you need to know um, basically four different things when we're looking at the probability of, of uh, at least for the questions that we're going to be dealing with for um, the Venn diagram. You're going to need to know the probability of whatever A is. So like for instance this this circle right here that I'm coloring in black is um, A. Okay, So you're going to need to know that information. You're going to need to know the probability of B, okay, which is everything that I'm coloring in, in red right here. Okay, um, That's going to be important information for you to know. And you're going to need to know the intersection of these two things, um, which is we represent this as A intersection B. Okay, so that's important information for you to know also, and that's going to be whatever's in this, this green area. Okay, that's, again, important information for you to know. Okay, I'm going to delete out this, and that's going to be able to give us what we have here is the, the union. So what we want to know is what is the, the probability. Sorry, I should have a P right here. I want to know what is the probability of the union of A and B. Okay, and that is what I'm coloring in blue. It's the whole, both circles essentially. Okay, now one important thing is when you're talking about this, this kinds of probability, and we, we talked about this when we looked at, at the sets involved with the Venn diagram, sometimes, well not sometimes, anything that's in the union over here, sorry, the intersection, um, we have to be careful not to double count that. And that's part of the reason that we're subtracting out this intersection right here. So let's put some numbers on this and, and and get sort of an example of what I mean. Okay, so this is the one that I used in class if you remember. So in class we talked about um, the, the universal set being 1 through 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So this is the universal set. Uh, so that's what u is equal to. Okay, and then we talked about set A being multiples of 2. So set A was multiples of 2, so that's 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, um, and we talked about B being multiples of 3, so that was 3, 6, and 9. So I'm going to label these things in here, and then let's look at how, how this, this is called the addition formula, or sorry, the addition um, rule, how, how that gets applied to this situation. Okay, so we know that set A is 2, 4, 6, and 8. I put the 6 in the intersection here because it's the only thing that fits in that intersection. Uh, 3, 6, and 9 are also in B. And then 1, 5, and 7 are not in those subsets, so they're in the uh, the square on the outside. Okay, so the probability of pulling a stick from A over here, from A, or pulling a number from A, if I was randomly to select numbers 1 through 9, the probability of pulling a multiple of 2 would actually be this. It would be, the probability here would be 4 out of 9. And the probability of pulling any sort of stick out, or sorry, any sort of number, um, I use sticks to draw these things with uh, numbers on them. So the probability of pulling a multiple of 3 would, of course, be 3 out of 9. There are 3, 1, 2, 3, so 3 out of 9. Now, because 6 is in both subsets, we have to subtract it out. So I'm going to subtract out the probability of pulling just a 6, which is 1 over 9. And this is going to give me the probability of getting the union of A and B. Okay, So this would be equal to 7 over 9 minus 1 over 9, which would be 6 over 9, or 2 thirds. 
So that's going to be the probability of pulling a two-thirds, okay? And this is using that addition rule. Okay, let's look at this in another context. So if I look at this here and start to look at this, I'm, I'm asking a question. I'm using this addition rule here to fill in the chart below. Now, notice that there are four pieces of information. There's the union of A and B, the probability of A, the probability of B, and the intersection of A and B. So um, you need three out of four to solve this, these kinds of problems. And essentially what you're going to do is just substitute them into the formula. So I'm looking for this this time. So on the first question, I'm, I have, I'm looking for the union of A and B. And what I know is the probability of A, which is 0.9, plus the probability of B, which is 0 0.2. And then I'm going to subtract out the intersection of A and B, which is 0 0.3. So that means that the probability of getting the union of A and B is going to be 0 0.9 plus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.3. Well, 0 0.9 plus 0 0.2 would be 1.1 minus 0 0.3. So then the probability of getting the union here would be 1.1 minus 1.3 or 0 0.8. Okay, so for the first question, this would be 0 0.8. Let's look at for the next question. So for question B, you'll see that what I have is um, I have... Uh, I have the union. I don't have probability A, so that's what I'm looking for. I have probability B, and I have the intersection. So I'm going to just set up my equation. I have 0 0.25 is equal to the probability of A happening plus the probability of B happening minus the, the intersection of A and B. Oh, sorry. I can just write that out. I have those, so I'm going to actually substitute those in. So this is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4, okay? And when I subtract these two, I end up with 0 0.25 is equal to the probability of A happening, uh, and 0 0.5 minus 0.4 is 0 0.1. Now I have to subtract that from both sides. So 0 0.1, subtracting 0 0.1. Okay, and then I'm going to end up with 0 0.15 is equal to the probability of A. So we're just basically applying a little bit of algebra here. So there's that. Okay, and essentially every single one of these questions is going to work roughly the same way. So here I have the, the union, I, don't, I have A, I don't have B, and I um, have the intersection. So I'm just going to simply put those values into the addition room and uh, rule and solve. So the union is 0 0.8. Probability A is 0 0.6. I don't know probability B, but I do know the intersection, which is this. Okay, so 0 0.8 is equal to 0 0.6 minus 0 0.5. Now I've just moved things around a little bit, and you're allowed to do this. So all I did is swapped these two things. Okay, and you're allowed to do that. Okay, so this is 0 0.8 is equal to 0 0.6 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.1 plus the probability of B. Again, I need to subtract 0 0.1, 0 0.1 from both sides, and that's going to leave me with this being equal to 0 0.7. So I know that this is 0 0.7. Okay, next one. Okay, I've got the union right here. So 0 0.6 is equal to 0 0.75 plus 0 0.55 minus whatever the intersection of A and B are. Okay, so I'm going to simply solve. 0 0.6 is equal to... And let's see, I'm uh, adding those, right? So this is going to be 0 0.75 uh, plus 0.55, which is actually, let's see, it's, it's 1.2. So that's minus A and B, OK? So now I need to subtract 1.2 from both sides. So I'm subtracting 1.2 from both sides. And let's see, that gives me negative 0 0.6 is equal to negative 
A intersection B. Now notice that both of these are negatives. So if I multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1, that'll give me positives for everything because negative 1 times negative 6 is positive 6. Uh, sorry, negative 1 times negative 0.6 is positive 0.6. Negative 1 times um, the intersection of negative A and B is going to give me the positive intersection of A and B. So this would then be 0 0.6. Okay, so to solve these problems, what I really need is four things. I need to know the union of A and B, the probability of A, the probability of B, the intersection of A and B. Thank you for watching.